Hello everyone, Happy here with a new game that just released today called Manor Lords. Now I've been having my eye on this game for probably a little more than a year. I did play the beta way, way, way back when. Um, but this is a game that's made by a solo developer. It has just come out today, which is April 26th. And we're going to jump into it. This is probably gonna be one of my longer videos as we explore this game, as this is a really advanced city build slash combat game that's similar to Total War. So there's different characters you can pick from. Let's see. Guy with a mustache as a ruler. Hmm, who do I want to be? I'm going to go with the person with a mustache. Mostly because they have a helmet. Helmets are good. Name? Happy. Oh, we get to create our own coat of arms. Let's see here. What do they have for options? A griffin, a lion, phoenix, a pig! Could be a castle, a squirrel. That's fun. Let's see, oh, they do have a dragon. They have a few different dragons. It's a hydra, griffin's head. I think we're gonna go with this, the classic, classic dragon. Ooh, primary color. I feel like I should probably make this one I can see. Secondary color. Secondary color. Oh, here we go. We can make that really pop. And then let's change this maybe to an orangey. Oh, no, we can go for a darker red if we wanted to. Or the gray. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then, ooh. Interesting. We'll go with the solid there. Make that primarily out of there. Okay. And continue. So I'm going to play on the default challenge. And there's three different levels here. There's on the edge, which is your fighting against lots of... Uh, this is like the combat fighting one. This is... You're just role playing. There's nothing crazy. I want to try the, just the base game for this first playthrough. And then I'm going to do multiple playthroughs of more and more difficult things. So... Let's see. Spring, standard starting supplies. So this will all just be the normal kind of base stuff in the game. We have two free years without raiders. We have one initial bandit camp. And we have three bandit camps that can spawn if there are already three of them. Oh. Okay, so there can only be three bandit camps. But yeah. We'll walk through this game. So I've always been a huge fan of games like Total War and other things like that. And uh, the city builder aspect. I've never been great at them. So it's fun to jump into them. Um... So we're going to see how we go. I don't know a whole lot. And this game is super early access. It's made by like, I think it's made by almost like just one guy or was one guy for a long time. Um, so if there's things that are wrong, they put a really nice message out saying like, hey, it's just uh, me working on it. I check a Discord. If there are bugs and like that, please report them. And you know what? Hey, I'd rather support a small developer, especially one that made a game that's like that. So first things first, I pause the game. Let's read our new message here. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards the regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. Okay. So, let's see. This is the map. Looks like our opponent in yellow is over here. We have what well, looks to be a rich stone deposit. We have wild animals, some berries, a clay deposit, and an iron deposit. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that, so that's our bandit and then there's the outlaws where is the band oh the bandit camp right next to us okay that's a little spooky um let's take a quick little look here on the map what we got so in the manor lords families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive supplies the regions so i have four months food and no fuel okay where did my people go if i oh there we are so we're down here so I kind of want to be in the middle of all my resources. Where's the berries? Oh, they're right there. Okay. So if I build in here, that could be good. But let's take a look at our construction. Every region of mainland has its strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil of trade before assigning the direction of your town. If your region is weak, you can trade early. So underground water. 
Ooh. Oh, we're super fertile. Oh, no. I want to go back. Build. Oh, so we can be a bread basket. Oh, wow. That's so helpful. Okay. So we have some supplies. We have some timber. We have some stone. We have some tools. Now, up here, this is our families. So we have five families. If they're uninside, they work on construction. So we're going to actually relocate our base to a more central area where we can get resources quickly. And we're doing this all on pause because the game does go a little bit slow. So I will have to go through a bit. But I do want to get ourselves kind of going. So I don't want to log up here. I want to log down here. We'll just use the main road here as our example. So we'll do that. We have a hunting camp that we will just put there. And then we have a forager's camp that I want to put by the berries over here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it doesn't highlight if I zoom in. Okay. And then, oh, I was curious. I know you can rotate this. Uh, do I rotate? Oh, oh, keep hitting all the buttons. We wanted our berry building. So that's not it. Let's see. How about just Q? Nope. Hmm. Oh, oh. that's fast forward. Didn't want that. Click and hold. I guess click and hold. Perfect. So one thing that is nice of the game, you can connect roads for free with no resources. So I'm just going to quickly connect things down. On this side, families work construction automatically. So I'm going to make my logging because we need logs. Because we don't have many and they're a big part of the game. Oh, a little stutter there. Can I? I can't move that. That's fine. And then here, we'll just fast forward for a second. So we'll actually, we'll just zoom in. Oh, our families are moving off through the woods. So we have one ox. This is our friend here. His name is, where's the ox's name? Um, yeah, so we get an ox. Ox helps carry logs. So the big thing is everything manually has to be carried. So our ox literally needs to drag all the logs from our starting supplies to that base. But over here, you see we have 50 regional wealth. What I'm going to do, ooh, roads and carts. So hand carts transform 10 goods at once. However, pulling hand cart from a string slow, make sure you check your feelings. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't buy, that's trade, we don't need trade. Cosmetics, don't need that. Farming, residential. I wanna buy another hitching post as soon as I can. And we'll put this as high priority. And then we're going to connect this with our roads. Now. I'm going to fast forward for a second. Because everyone's just building. I know we have exposed goods. Can't do much about that. So they'll work on building this logging camp. As quick as they can. And they should be working on building other things around it as well. So let's see. We have our hitching post going. We have our people just standing around. They're bringing logs. That's the that's the problem. Our supplies are down here. Oh, like, let's pause. oh space bars. Pause. I've heard of you renown. Only seek to defend my rights in honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you don't judge me. Uh, rumors and slanders are true. Okay. So, while human workforce has been assigned by default, livestock workers are sharp, shared between workspaces. Okay. So this is our logging camp. We can assign a family. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go to limit the work area. Now I can control plus mouse up. I want them to cut the logs in this area. So we'll just do that and we'll resume our game for a second. 
We're going to go back to full speed. Because things are still building, so not much. Like, there's not a lot going on in the early game that I could do. Now, I guess I can explain some stuff as we're going through, though. So our approval is the big thing we're looking for. If we get our approval over 50%, we have a chance of people joining our little village here. The more people we have, the more people we can use in areas. It builds our economy. But also in this game, unlike other games where you train soldiers, that's your army. So if you don't have a lot of people and someone attacks you a lot of people and you don't have a big population, you just want people to fight with. Oh, what is this? Public order. Governors a chance of crime occurring as well as citizens permanently turning to banditry. Oh, so it looks like we also have to have good order. Now, I have not paid attention to that before, so I'll take a look at that. Construction finished. So we have a hitching post. I'm going to order another ox here because two oxes will allow us to get materials quicker. But I am going to keep my other 30 regional wealth for other things. Now, where are we at here? So that's medium priority. They're working on this one. Someone's down here working on it. I hear you. I hear someone cutting trees, too. Here we go. We'll just fast forward for a second. Construction finished. Hitching post. Yep. So both are now done. Oh. So we finished our hunter's camp. So where? I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, found it. So we're going to want a hunter there. Oh, okay. So look at that. We're already, public order is already set because now we have people or most people are working. So the hunter will get us meat and leather from these wild animals. And actually, let's make sure our hunting limit is set to 10. That way they don't migrate off. So we could hunt it all down, but then I don't think they respawn and I want to have those resources forever. You just can't cut down the trees around them from what I remember. Um... And then we're still building. We'll get to houses in a little bit and things like that. Don't worry. Uh, I just want to try to get the base stuff going. Oh, a little lag there. That's okay. Oh, is that our other ox? Is his name Jacob? Oh, let's pause this for a second. Let's add in a family at the forester hut. Is that all of our buildings that we put down? We put down a hitching post, logging camp. Okay. So let's resume time for a second. I'm going to want a storehouse. I want it to be close to... What's the pack station? Oh. That's pretty cool. But we'll do this. We'll build a storehouse... I guess we'll build it right next to the ox. And then we'll... I want to build a granary as well. Oh, actually, I should probably look at residential stuff. Because our biggest thing right now is homelessness. So, one thing that Manor Lords does really well is how it crafts houses. And everything like that. So, actually, let's just put a water thing right there as well. We don't want to go too far overboard. Because now I don't have enough timber so we'll wait we'll wait a second here we already have our hunting camp mining pit stone cutters camp bloomery yeah so i could cost create a tannery which you can use to get some stuff going there but i don't think that's necessary just yet i kind of want to move everything into the storehouse that i can because if it rains, my stuff outside here will get ruined. Actually, I'm going to throw, while I have the chance, I'm going to throw a second person on the berries. Because I'm not, like, I'm constructing some things, but nothing like crazy. And then I'm going to take, I say that, I'm going to take some of the berries. I'm going to put them in the storehouse. Am I building anything else? I have a well under construction. So the well's done. So... I put a second person on the service? No. Oh. Okay. Sorry. We want someone guiding the ox because the ox is grabbing all of our stuff. I could just do this real quick. Make this as efficient as possible. 
That way we would easy way of getting to our supplies. All right. So failure request market stalls. Okay. So let's get to our building here for a second. So we don't want to build up by that. And our whole area is really fertile. So we don't really care too much where we break down our trees and everything. So we're going to use this area over here as our town. So let's go and build. Let's go get some houses down. Actually, let's pre-plan our building. So this is the... Okay, so other things I should talk about. The main road here, this is called the King's Road. I cannot edit or destroy this road. I can only add to it. So just a heads up. Like, hey, why don't you move that road around? Just, I honestly can't touch it. So... Let's do, let's do this construction. Now we said it needed a market. So residential marketplace. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points. It doesn't air the curse will snap. That's what we built. Got it. Okay. So let's get our market going. So we're going to do a central market here. Actually, where's our supply building? Right here. So let's do our... I don't want our market to be too far away from different things, but it's okay. So, actually, we'll do a market here. I don't care if we have work trees. We can always build more. Available stall location is 90. I don't think I need something that big. Cool. 40 sounds great. So, let's build that there. So supply and demand, a well-supplied market is a lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space in the market. Hover over a specific category to check your supply and demand. The burgers plots close to the market their market's requirements first. Okay. So let's go over here. I want to build a granary. Actually, let's do the simple thing. Let's surround the market with roads. Just so we can keep an eye on it. And let's connect. Let's connect it as close as we can to here. Then let's go to build. Let's build a granary. Right there. And then, is homelessness, uh, homelessness still is our biggest problem. Okay. But it's nothing bad. So homelessness isn't terrible. And, oh, I should probably leave the game playing. Um, we have two things at the hitching post that we're not using. Which isn't great. I thought they would, I thought they would both use that. Maybe I need two unassigned families to be doing that. So this guy is working on gathering the storage. Oh no, we got two people using noxes. Okay, cool. So let's just fast forward for a second. We keep building things. Let our timber and everything show up. Our logging camp has 9 to 15. Construction finished food stall. Nice. Don't need to change the priority. I only have one building going. Our two oxes aren't moving. Which isn't great. So you know what we'll do? I wonder... Not the logging camp. Let's look at our residential here. So let's just grab... Oh, grab this. So... We'll just build our three houses here. But we have five families. So we're going to need some more houses. Let's see here. So that's five houses. And I'm out of temper. Okay. So let's keep that going. And let's fast forward for a second because we just have things crafting. There's farms and fields. 
Burger spots. Wooden church. We can get a livestock trading post. Manor for Manor Lords, nice. Erase shrubbery or a shrine. Industry. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. We have our stuff damaged, but luckily for us. Oh, there's a spread out there, darn it. I would say, luckily for us, we seem to be okay. Okay, let's just keep that on. Homelessness will move to... Homeless people will move to a plot. Blue families. So, now what do we need here? We need a church. A fuel supply. I have no fuel. At all. Food supply and a clothing supply. So... Tannery to produce leather. Feels like a good way to get clothes. Where's our storehouse? It's right over here. Let's do that. We have a lot building. That's okay, though. You know... I feel like I don't actually need that many logs just yet. Oh, nice. We have another family member. Um, so we'll have two, two people working on construction just to really get everything done. We have logs. We're just waiting to build all of our stuff here. And it's going quick. So when we click on these, right, this is something I want to talk about. We have that little symbol. Here, I'll make, sure, I'll make sure so you can see the symbol. So there's a little symbol here on if I wanted to create a burger spot again, right? So let's say I go over here. I want to add one more or maybe two more to this area. That little triangle symbol up top. See that little building symbol where it's the... I'm trying to point to my screen like you can see it. Um, yeah, I'll do it over here. If I just drag... There's that little symbol above. So there's the house symbol, the plus one building. That means there will be two houses there and one backyard. But the backyard symbol allows you to have special amenities. So I'm going to go over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get eggs. So I'm going to build a chicken coop. Now it does bring us the five money. So now, unfortunately, our region is not doing so great. Um, but eggs will give us, if we look over here... We have food stall supply, so one type of food or two types of two food. Right now, we can do it with animals. Oh, actually, we're going to take or even do this. We're going to remove that. So, and do my granary finish? Here, I'll put that guy in the granary. Um, so, we have meat from the animals, and then we have berries. Now, berries are seasonal. Oh, and they're almost full, too. I guess we'll take them out for a second. I don't really want to, but we need to get more stuff going. So here, we'll fast forward while we build everything real quick. Get our three builders into the workforce. Now, I really want to work on this approval, so that's why we're getting rid of the homelessness. The other thing is a church level. How do I build a church? So I need to have timber, planks, and stone. Okay. I can do that. Okay. So pause. Our sentiment level increased. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, you will need more weapons and equipment to make all people's equipment grows, whether by making them or importing them from other lands. Okay. And then this is our tech tree. Now, with our tech tree here, it allows a few different things in how areas go. So, there is charcoal kilning, which converts one firewood and two two charcoal making it very efficient for winter it looks like it's very similar to what we had locked before though this is interesting it's plate armor to get more population you need to have enough village pods and approval needs to be over 50 percent yep got that um so you can do a heavy plow which allows fox oxen to plow fields sheep breeding apples this takes three years to grow, though, so I don't really want to jump into that right away. 
let's see fertilization allows fallow fields as pasture which rapidly stores that seems pretty good produce oh well that's pretty great what we have over here doubles the capacity of all berry deposits could be helpful but we're not running out of berries we had run out of storage I'm going to hold off on my point for now. Aviary gives honey. I think I'm going to hold off my point just yet. And there's also policies here. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Locked in early access. Okay. Okay. So we're going to leave that point there. I'm thinking about getting the heavy plow. Just in case you're curious. We have such a good farmland that that's kind of my thought process. But I'm not going to farm probably this year. Because you're supposed to get it done in early March. To get everything kind of going and growing. And I know I'll just waste it while trying to get my area. So we're going to work on growing our population first. Okay. So what we have here. We only have to worry about our homelessness. So we finished our tannery. Let's get one person working there. We have one person working there. We can get another person back on logs. And then let's extend this road down a bit. And we should. Oh. Did the road knock all the way down? Am I crazy? Oh, I was just trying to snap to that corner. That's what it is. Okay. That's fine. Here, let's build, actually, we'll go this way. Maybe not. Click here, click there. Oh, there we go. I was on the wrong side of the door. Not enough goods. Oh, okay, I, just, I don't have enough wood. Understood. Okay, we'll let that finish then. Actually, and then we need where we need to stop it. We'll put that right across from the logging camp. That seems like a good idea. Oh yeah, look how quick they build that because the two oxen are just right there. And we have two months of fuel left. I should probably get a woodcutter's lodge as well. Oh, look how many trees we've already chopped out. We can do a forester hut to regrow trees, so we're not too worried about that. Right now, our only goal is getting... So this is all good. We need... Okay, so we need church. That's our biggest thing. So let's put that in low priority. Let's put someone... Oh. So are all of our so okay, so all of our supplies are gone. So let's take you out of storage for a second. We need let's pause. We want someone back on berries. Because food's important. We need We need someone to make me those. We need logs. How do I know? So we have someone in the tannery, they're making us clothes. We'll take someone out of the granary. They have to deal with their own things for a second. And we're going to put one in here. Then we're going to resume. Chopping some wood. Building our woodcutter's lodge. Generic storage full. So when I click this, it's going to click on our sawmill. It's to say it's full if it's stored with one log. So I don't have to really stress out about that. That will probably pop up all the time, which is a little unfortunate, but it's what it is. Early access. So yeah, generic storage is full. It's just gonna be that one one log. Oh, there we go. Making our saws. Perfect. Now where are they going all the way down to? 
new mercenary companies are available. Oh, we're close. So we are... We're, oh, what is this? We're running out of fuel? Okay. So we're going to need someone in this. Now, we got 20... Oh, actually. How many do I need to build the church? Oh, 20. Oh, wow. We got all of them when we need them. Okay. So... Could build a church on this side. Can I put the church over here. Really putting the church there is not a bad idea. But the fact that we have 20 planks, that's coming out. Put something on here. We're going to limit the work area but we're going to make it large <laughs> you can grab anything from in there and let's see what we have here that's your work area we just don't want to harm the animals up there but we're close to getting positive which we'll have people move in Oh, but I need, I need empty buildings. I only have five. I have six logs, so I can build three houses if needed. There's our roads. Get a road there. Unfortunately, I can't fit through there, but it's okay. Yeah. Plus, you can always demolish and rebuild things. Um, oh, yes! Now we're positive. Okay. So we let the game run for a minute. We're just trying to get some more people. Because we're positive 59 now. Or, well, technically positive. Oh, interesting. I will say, I'm 5 plus 5. Oh, I'm well, minus 5 from there. Okay. Let's get our church on the highest priority. So timber is important. So we'll keep that going. Our berries are going to be running out. Who do I have working? Quickly pause. So I have woodcutters, so that's one, two. Got my builder going on. Oh, I have some of the tannery. Oh, but I have no one. That's silly. I have no one working there. Because I have no things there. Yeah. We're just hoping for more people. Oh no, they stole our leather! From the nearby bandits. So these guys over here stole our letter. Can you see them? Yeah, I guess if they steal it, we only would notice if they... Afterwards. So I don't see like any bandits running off. Okay. So we'll just work on keeping our approval high. We just need to get the houses done as well. Because then people can't move in if we're positive. So I need to keep more houses going. Luckily the church is almost done. And that should be everything they need. Which is pretty snazzy. Perfect. So let's keep this building here. Now we just need these houses to get done. It's funny, I thought the second watch would be very helpful. But we still only have one family working there. Oh, you know what I should have done? I think you can upgrade this. 
Stable face one. Maybe not. I thought you could make a small stables and have two things here. Advanced. Livestock. Can I rename this person? We'll name them Fred. Oh, good. In the States. Okay. Perfect. So now we have an empty home. So hopefully people can move into this. Because we need we need a bigger workforce. Our five base people is not enough. So now we have eight houses. We're doing decent. A bandit camp was sighted. Let's go down to our normal thing. Where is the bandit camp? Oh my gosh, they're on both sides of us. And we have a rich stone deposit. Okay. So I can claim the infants or claim with king's favor. Interesting. So we have a breadbasket of land though. So we want to, we're going to try to get our population up and then make some super farms. And that's what we're going to try to trade. We're going to try to trade our farming, most likely. Or anything that we can make in excess. So like... We could do trees. There are lumber is a resource, and there's a bunch of it. So let's just keep this fast forward for a second. Our approval solid. Oh, what is this? New mercenary companies. Nope, I clicked the wrong button. Nope. Where'd it go? I go up here. Production. What's this? This is our town. Are we named Regent? Hmm, what should we name it? We'll name it Farmland. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is at the top. That's fun. Actually, let's change it up. We'll just name it Happy. Close that. Close that. Okay, cool. So this is seasonal. It is September. We have nine months of fuel, 21 months of food. Oh, new family moved in. Yes! Now I have two families. So now I have people that can work on other things. So we have, we got into our 10 wild animals again. So let's throw someone in the tannery, someone in the storehouse, and then we're not working actually let's take that out of the storehouse let's throw you in the tannery there all right let's keep it going we're just looking to keep getting more people that's our number one resource we need right now is just people it's so cool you can zoom all the way in now if I click this, it might glitch out. So let's go to normal speed for a second. So nothing's going around too much. But I can turn into our manor lord here and run around. And I can see the oxen. I can go explore the area. Uh, I don't believe I can fight in any way, shape, or form. Actually, I don't even know how to get out of that. Oh, I did escape. Okay, that's good. But, like, if I wanted to, I can come right over here. And I could be in the town square and look at the market and see people with the handcarts going around. And just really kind of take a look at the burger spots. Like, for example, I heard a dog, but I didn't see the dog. But, I know this one over here has chickens. So I go to the end here. There's chickens. Hello, chickens. I like your little coop. And you can see inside the coop. Now, some buildings you can go inside. Um, let's see. Not this one, though. Some of the buildings you can walk under and take a look in. But this game is so detailed. Especially if you remember, it's like one person making this game. Or was for a long time. Um, but I love that, like, hey, it's autumn. The trees are starting to turn to red. You can really kind of take a look at what's going on around you. But let's fast forward again. Because we're still waiting on just more people. Because we're self-sufficient right now. We have positive everything. We're just going to try to bear for the winter. What I'm going to do is 
We have eight months of firewood, so I want more firewood. So if I get another family, I'm going to throw it in the firewood section. So we have six families, eight unassigned homes. So we have two more houses people can move into. Let's get the full reassign this. Actually, 20 is plenty. Let's add you to our woodcutter's lodge. So we just get a bunch of fuel for the winter. Because winter starts in December. So we only have a few months till then. And we should have plenty of food. With our berries. And then our wild animals keep coming back. The berries will be gone. But I do have eggs. So if I click over here at the food stall. I do have three eggs. And I have this stuff here. And in our granary we do have more. And we have, what, 19 months of food, so we'll be good till next year, and then some. Oh, good, another family moved in. Okay. So, I'm going to put them at the storehouse. Just so we move resources a bit faster with those hand carts. Now, maybe that's not the right idea, but I'm also going to get ourselves more houses as well and then we're going to put a road i know it's going to be a weird double road here but you know just draw over it the pathing right there might make them freak out let's see what happens oh no, they're fine Oh, so that is it. I can I can make that. I just need a plank person. Okay, we'll just, we'll just leave it going for a second. Let's see if we can get another family move in. Because now we have seven families, one open spot. We're building three more. Like I said, this first year, we're desperately trying to increase our population. Let's see what we can't do here. We now have 20 people. Oh, they stole some of our eggs! You fiends! And our leather. Okay. We're gonna take them out. Put the logs back. Oh, our guys who know some self-awareness of what's going on. We got 13 months of that, so that should be fine. Okay, we got a bunch more burger spots. Oh, 76! Oh, we're so positive now. Oh, what's this? Our clothing demand's not being met. We can't have that. So. Let's find our hunting camp up in here. Let's assign someone back as a hunter. So these berries are done. So let's take them out because the person from the granary will go get those berries. So now I have two people again. We have 11 living spaces and we have seven people. Okay. So we have plenty of space there. We have 19 timber. Let's get someone working on those. Let's fast forward again. Yeah, winter's approaching. It's just giving us the heads up. Luckily, we have our fuel that we need. No, it's funny. It says new mercenary companies available. I don't even know how you look at that. Treasury. Map. Help. Army. Interesting. Help. Ooh. Okay, we're good. I was trapped in that menu for a second. Now, have, can we see if they're developing anything? So is, is it just like they've made claims to these lands? Looks like it, okay. 
but the bandit camps. Look how many bandits there are. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bandits. I have 21 people. I have 7... Or I have 14 potential fighters. So, if they attack us, we're in trouble. But I think I read at the very beginning that we don't get attacked for X amount of years, so we should be okay there, actually. It's like two years. Okay. So, our hunter has finished their thing. Let's go back to the tannery. Now, that's unfortunate that we can't get more. Actually... Hunters collect hides from traps. Interesting. I could go to charcoal building. I can make helmets, but no. We're thinking farming. We're going to go big into farming. But, let's upgrade our hitching post. And I'm going to see if I can't move my ox into the hitching post and delete this hitching post. Oh, yes, another new person moved in. We can, we have no generic storage here because we're doing a good job of emptying it. So we're going to throw someone into there. We have someone working on saw, we have someone working on there. Oh! I thought another person would do it, but that's another person uh, having a baby. You're joining. <laughs> Walking camp's looking good. So, can I... Advance? People... I guess maybe I can't... Move the ox? Okay. Well, enough for next playthrough that if I get an early ox, I should just make a stables. It's only required planks. And I can have them both working from one central spot versus two different spots. Okay. months of fuel so we're looking pretty good still positive 70 now what can i be doing besides just recruiting more people so i could upgrade this however it increases requirements i don't want to do that because i'm trying to gain more people so now it does say that we'll gain wealth but what we could do as well It's a weaver shop. Don't need that. We could build a trading post. Why don't we try that? Let's build a trading post. We'll build it right here. Because our storehouse is right next to it. So it'll be a quick little transition over there. Let's fast forward again. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So things are going pretty positive right now. I'm going to say that in the winter's going to come and all people are going to die. But I, I have enough fuel for 13 months. It does say it doubles, so I have 6 months of winter fuel. And winter is not that long. Okay. So... I can trade. Do I have 39 planks? How many I have? That's kind of crazy. Ooh, and our storehouse is almost full. Let's upgrade that. Is our granary almost full too? No. Okay. 79. We're deep green there. Okay. So trade. I would love to be able to export 
Import. So I can sell those for two. Roof tiles sell for eight. Blocks, I can't get those. Stones, I do have a rich stone deposit. But I only sell those for one. So planks are better, and they just require a log. And I can get a lot of logs. I have lumber. Okay, we'll start with we'll start with planks. So let's go trade. Oh, I can't make a trade route. Oh. Oh, it's good to know that these are worth two as well. Block because trade rule is set to no trade. Huh. Oh, okay. I see. I want to export planks. I have 38 in here. How many planks do I want to keep on hand? Let's go... Sorry. I want to keep... I want to keep 10 on hand. So I'll sell a bunch there. I need to put a person in there, though. So... Let's see. Our logging camp's doing a good job. So we'll take them out. Throw that there. Okay. Make sure... We got the guy out of the forager's hut. Nothing's left over here, so let's actually... Can I remove road? Alt. Now I will just quickly connect this here, though. Just give it as easy a connection as I can. Okay. So we have eight families. Wait a second. Someone living in all these houses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe I don't have enough houses. That is on me if I don't have enough houses, because I should be getting those. We don't want to chunk into all of our land. So what we're going to do here is we'll wrap this around. Now let's go Let's go down a little bit further. get four more houses going and then can I get like a semi big house in here oh, I can get some interesting looking houses over here it's a giant backyard now we'll keep the residential section over here okay let's resume that for a second Ooh, it's almost winter. I'm a little nervous. I like debating going with that charcoal. Deep mine enables the producing region infinitely pest over a rich mine. But I don't have a rich mine. I have a stone deposit. Like, that's a rich mine. There's a rich clay one there. All right. Well, let's advance time. We've got 82%, so we're just chilling. We're not going to do anything. We're just trying to grab as many people as we can. Oh, plus 20. Oh, that's huge. Does that give me... That gives me more chickens. Or I can get goats to get hides. Oh. So, we don't really have a problem with hides because we can use the animals, but it gives me passive hides. Which means I want to put someone on the hunter the whole time. I think I'm going to go with eggs still. Yeah, I'm going to go with eggs. We do have to trade going, so we can always make more.
Good. Oh, yeah, we have more people moving in now the moment I build stuff. Okay. Oh, what is this? May stop working. Access into herbs might suit the recovery. Variant di Oh, no. Disease. Oh, okay. So, I'll have to get that going when we get some more money. Though, I bet I can't grow it in winter anyways. So, we'll just hope that disease doesn't take all of our people. Oh, if I make a big backyard, I can get more than that. Okay. At least our trading post is doing decent. Overall, our people seem happy. Roof tiles, burgers plot. We now have two things of chickens. We finished our large storehouse. Now Oh, Bandit stole our firewood. We need that. Okay. So, I'm trying to think about the future, what we need here. So, actually, we'll let's play it out while we, while we go. So, I want to make some farms. I'm thinking we do our farming... down here just to keep everything kind of centralized um we'll use this as a double layer thing of houses we'll do another road coming out here but i need to get the farming going because it needs to be ready to start by march i have three months to build everything i need there for farming So if I want to make a field, so let's say I wanted to do, I don't know how big the field should be, but let's say like, okay, that gets rid of the trees. That's good to know. I didn't know that did that. And then I need a farmhouse to work it. Because we always very, very, needs to be very large. Oh, for oh, okay. Wait, this is three Morgans. Alright, this might be too big. So, oh, actually, okay. Wait, no, I, I'm gonna do the plow. So, oh, farmhouses employ families working in the fields. Workers choose only according to the fields set priority level. Okay. So, here, we're going to demolish this field. Oh, okay. So, that's an interesting way to remove all the trees. Well, let's do this. So, we're going to do actually three fields. Oh, actually, we'll do four small fields. Because I feel like we could do, like, maybe the game wants crop rotation. Okay, that'll be our biggest field. So we'll make this one highest, very high, high, and then medium. Okay. But we need a farmhouse. So 
let's turn this this way and we'll actually build it right down the road over here and since I'm just building here I have extra oh actually wait a second I'm gonna build a forester too, because that will let us grant new trees, and I'm gonna try to grow trees where we're chopping trees down. Because I just chopped down a huge part of the forest. Um, let's see here. So we have 24 money, so I could get another ox. And since I'm gonna have multiple fields going. I'm going to get another ox. So I feel just it carrying logs over. Now that I have three ox, or potentially have three oxes to get it going. But I, actually, sorry. I wanted to get a mining pit going as well. And our stone is way up here. Which is a little unfortunate. Do it this way. Then quickest way to the road. Okay, we got 15 houses, so we should be overall we're doing pretty good. Problem is there will be a time where we run out of people to like space is my fear like we, we've stalled out at 12 months of fuel but i do feel two people working on construction and it is winter oh actually wait let me go over here i want you to be on the highest priority because i want to get this done before march so let's hyper focus that but i need I need stone That'll be the next thing we do. Once we get this farmhouse done. Actually, let's put our point into heavy plow right now. Yes, now we have three construction workers. So I don't need this yet. Mining pit. So here, let's grab some clay while we're here. Oh wow, the ox already got up there and put the two stuff down. Good job, ox. Forester's hut. I want to put something there. Get our two money. Maybe we get our goats going. Let's take them off the tannery. Add some in the hunter. Do we think we get goats now? Or should I get more eggs? Oh, well, now that we have more people. I can't do either. So, let's see. Our granary only has berries. So we, we're not making enough eggs to... So we're going to do, do eggs. We're, we don't have enough in here. Can I actually see a breakdown of our supplies? Yeah, I have one egg. Okay, so we're not... We're not at a point where we can just keep crafting more and more areas there. So let's get through here. I have 15 homes. I wish you could tell if someone was living in the homes. Is there? Actually, let's go to our settings here. No, nope, don't need that. Um, hmm. Well, I could get the iron going. But our approval's great. I'm nervous when we start upgrading the plots to get silver, but we're making passive money from our planks anyways. So we're good there. This finish? No, we're close, though. 
It's just such a far run. Well, that's fine. It's going to be a big run. It's just far away. Nothing we do about it. Okay, we finished our farmhouse. Oh, a stone cutter's camp. Put that there. Okay. Let's take a little look at what our village looks like from just a little areas here. So this is our forester's hut. This guy's going to be trying to plant trees. Now, I don't know if I should be using him in the winter. I'm not going to lie. Um, can I tell him to plant a ton of trees in this area? I don't know if he's useful in the winter. It is obviously freezing cold. I don't know if you can plant. We can't plant most crops in the winter, but I don't know how the trees work. Um... So let's see, we started off with our little camp down here. Our homeless encampment seems to have gone away. We have four fields that we have not used yet. We have our farmhouse that I am excited to use in the next couple months. We have $46 now, so that's huge. Let's add in some more chickens. Um, we have a 33 people living in our village already. We have an 86% approval rating which is just huge signed so i feel like i still have extra houses um we got our church we can work on upgrading that now that we have access to clay as well as access to stone we're going to try to upgrade our granary though we're not close to filling it up yet but why not try to upgrade what we can and our little base is going well. So we've survived our first year. Um, and I'm going to play this out until hopefully I conquer the map. But I'm going to post this video over here. So I'll stop this one real quick. Put it on the channel up because it is the first launch day. And I'm going to make a really long video for the next one of us playing until we complete the... Uh, or get to a good stopping spot. Who knows? Because there could be crashes and things like that. But I am loving this game. It does have city build elements. I will try, if I can, to show combat in the next episode. I know it's not very exciting as you're just watching the city building stuff. Um, but pre-playing the city and keeping this approval rating and our public order high and just getting more people is so important. Because with more people, we have more workers to create more stuff. So the fact that we already have 15 fan or 11 families... From our starting five we've already doubled them in our first year um and with the chance of having much more because we have 88 approval rating so we're going to try to get just a colossus amount of people as long as we can keep up with our food and everything else variety so thank you so much for watching our first episode i will see you on the next one if you like the stuff leave a or like the videos leave a uh a like or subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one Bye, everybody.